Welcome to IPCS Automation. In this video, we are going to show you how to communicate between Delta HMI and Alamgarli Micrologic 1500 PLC. So, uh, let's start. Now you can see the Delta HMI and Micrologic 1500 PLC. These devices are connected using RS-232 communication cable. In HMI, COM port 1 is used. In PLC, it is connected to channel 1. Check the pinout to connect between Delta HMI and ARS-232 device. Now let's program the PLC. First you have to open RS Lynx Classic for communication and which is used to connect between PLC and the PC which is usually used in uh, Alumbradi PLCs and you can see there is a driver which is connected to uh, our PLC we can verify the parameters using driver configuration take a note of these parameters like board rate, pad T and stop bit now you, you can minimize RS Lynx application then go to RS Logix 500 English then create a new file and select your PLC we have Micrologic 1500 here and uh, let us go to the channel configuration let's just check the parameters uh, which we should uh, configure in the communication you can see there is channel 0 and channel 1 because uh, Micrologic 1500 PLC uh, has two communication ports and you can see the parameters and note the parameters now I'm going to do some ladder programming first I'm placing a open contact and a coil and giving some address here I'm using a memory bit which we can uh, turn it on and off using that HMI I'm giving some symbol to that and also I'm giving that output address to that coil and I'm giving one uh, symbol also now I'm going to download this program download means you're transferring your PLC program from your PC to your PLC first of all you have to save the program now I'm giving permission to download changing back to program mode and it is downloading now now you back to run mode and you can go online mode The next step is HMI configuration and designing HMI screens. For that we need a software. Now let us open the DOP B soft which we can use to configure and designing the HMI screen for Delta HMI. Now I'm creating a new project and selecting our HMI modem B07E4001 and now I'm selecting COM port 1 by disabling COM port 2 
and selecting the PLC Alan Bradley Micrologics. Now you can verify these communication parameters. RS to the interface, data bits, store bits, board rate, and parity. Make sure it is as same as the PLC channel configuration. Now I am going to place a momentary button on the screen one and giving the memory bit address which I have given in the PLC programming that is B3 colon 0 bar 0 you have to give some color to animate the button it is some states are there 0 and 1 now it is in state 0 and I am giving the color red to the state 0 and I am changing this state to 1 and I am giving color green and I am pressing ok after that I have to indicate the output here so I am selecting multi-state indicator and I am giving the read address I have chosen the link one because it is our connection and device type is all and the address which is o colon 0 dot 0 bar 0 which we have used in our PLC program and I am giving the color for the state to 0 I am giving the red color for the state 1 I am giving the green color same as the input input button and pressing ok and I am giving some text here to indicate which is which I have given one memory bit is there so I have to indicate the memory bit here which is our button and that the right one indicate the output and I am giving the text here also to represent that Now I have to download that project, compile first, then download the screen and it is searching the HMI and you can select the HMI, now it is downloading, now we can move on to the HMI screen. Now you can monitor and control PLC parameters using Delta HMI. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more videos.